me know if you see the live. Button. Well, good morning, Milu. We are live on Facebook yet once again. How are you today? I am doing fabulous, Tony. How are you? Good morning, Milu. <laughs> we are live on Facebook yet once again. How are you today? I am, I am doing fabulous, Tony. How are you? Good morning. And, and and you have your stream feeding back to you. Okay, let's just stop this one and come back again, okay? <clears throat> can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay, we are live on Facebook. So how about Good that? Good morning, Dr. Milo. Welcome to Coffee with the Coach. Good morning. I think we had a little bit echo. And I think we know what, what is the reason for the deco. So we, we, we have rectified that. So how is things going and how is uh, COVID is almost uh, disappearing? How about well, that? Well, you know, we have a lot of things to be thankful for. Um, yes. Today is the first day of June. It's the yes. beginning of summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we should start our day thinking of all the good things in our life. Um, you know, we have... Uh, even though it's a gloomy day outside, the trees are full with leaves and beautifully green. And uh, we have a good day ahead of us. We always have a good day ahead of us. It's uh, how we make the day is the question, right? So That's always, absolutely right. Yes, every day is a good day, it's given day. So when I wake up this morning, I realize this is a new day. And I have a completely uh, control of how this day go because I made it and you did too. So congratulations to a new day. Well, we can let the things that come into our day <clears throat> distract us from what we are trying to achieve or we could just accept them for what they are. Mm -hmm. um, they may be positive and ex accelerating uh, some of the things we're hoping to do and they might try to hinder you a little bit, but all you can do is accept them for what they are and learn from them. So uh, today we are in um, the second module of the v Vino Vision platform, which is so the self dimension. Mm -hmm. Second dimension, right? <clears throat> and uh, in the self dimension, the first thing we need to do is discover ourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so tell me how, how can people better understand themselves? That is very nicely said. How can people <clears throat> better understand themselves? So, um, as you know, the second dimension we are talking about is the self dimension. So we have just finished our strategic dimension where we talked about aspiration vision and dream. So those come from a strategic mindset and from strategic dimension, now we moved into self dimension. And in self dimension, we have three modules, self discovery, positivity and aspiration. And your question was uh, how that self dimension, how, how we know ourself. And, and it is very important to know ourselves. And how do we do that? So the, let's let's put a some kind of scenario out there, Tony. So you can we can work, you know talk it out. So you wake up this morning, and you realize that's a beautiful day, and you realize there is a coffee with the coach scheduled with us, and uh, we are here in the Zoom session. So think about when you wake up in the morning. How did you look at yourself? Well, typically when I wake up in the morning, I, I lie awake for a moment and I think about what is this day and what do I want to accomplish in this day? Mm -hmm. um, and I said a few things. I, I try to also think about some of the things that I'm grateful for so that I start the day off with a positive perspective. Um, because it's very easy. Life is difficult. Mm -hmm. It's difficult for everybody. 
And it's all how you react to that difficulty. So um, if you just accept life, knowing that it's, it's not a walk in the park, but you can make it a walk in the park if you take a walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's nothing wrong with, with that, uh, taking time for that. But, um, you know, I try to set a few intentions for what I'm trying to accomplish for the day and try to <clears throat> count my blessings and then begin the day with some kind of a, a ritual that, um, that we might have broken some of our rituals during this past COVID year. Mm -hmm. I know uh, waking up and going and washing your face and brushing your teeth wasn't always the first thing you do, did during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you laid around in your pajamas for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's, um, it's, the, it's the first day of June, like I say, the first day of summer. It is, COVID is under control. It is a, life can be, is getting back to normal as we know it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we shouldn't let our defenses down. We should still be, be careful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, in that self-discovery perspective, um, it's easy to think about the negative things in your life. Mm -hmm. And the woe is me and the, the things that are coming, the pressures that are upon you to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. And um, I, as long as you accept your, your life and not think about the, the negative things in your life, think about the positive things, you'll always um, have a little skip in your step. You'll take, you'll take those negative things with an easier brush. Okay. <clears throat> Well, you know, COVID, COVID may be some degree of influence, but think about every morning when you're waking up and you mention about brushing your teeth or uh, going to the mirror, looking at yourself. That's the first thing you are doing uh, when you're getting up from the bed. And before you do that, in, in the bed, you are thinking about the day, you, you kind of reconcile, reconciling your uh, thought process and all those things. So in Vino and Vision, we do uh, what we call mindfulness meditation in the morning, right? So we, we want to bring your mind to a complete silent zone where your mind is not thinking anymore. Means you, you want to go to the silence and totally stop thinking. So our brain is capable of doing many things even if we don't do it. Right, our brain is capable of doing many things. We don't do it even in sleep. Our brain continue to work, and that's the dream zone we we go to. Our brain moves very fast, and you know that because you can see in in a split second you have multiple thought process going uh, in your mind. So quieting that, quieting that thought process totally to zero, is very important because you are slowing yourself down to a zero level. And once you are in the zero level, you are connecting with things that you, not, you are not able to connect. So self-discovery, for example, is a way of connecting with yourself. You're going to the mirror and looking at yourself in the morning and you are looking at uh, yourself, uh, you know, and you may be the, best looking person in the world, but when you are looking at yourself, that's the most important person in your life. You've been with this person for a long time, ever since you were born, and you've been looking at yourself ever since you were uh, in this earth. So as you see, uh, you know, some gray hair show up, some uh, other things have changed, but you still have the same mindset of me. And our module, self-discovery, is focused on that, is me. So as, we, as you know, the relational dimension, when we move into that, we talk about self-love. That's a relationship our, with ourself. Yes, but I think also when we look in the mirror, we see the outside perspective of ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
and and the the um, me in my life um, that sometimes echoes in people's minds when you think when you when you speak of the the non thinking part mm -hmm. of mind. A lot of people have a hard time thinking about not thinking. And, and part of the problem, and I think the reason you want to try to get to that place of non-thinking is because the things we think about are often negative things. We think about the things in our life, um, the story of my life, mm -hmm. the, uh, the things that people might have done to me, to you, or um, the complaining that goes on and the, the fictitious identity that is in your mind that is created by your ego. Mm -hmm. That, um, you know, ego is a good thing. And, and I think we've been raised to have a high level of um, self esteem. Mm -hmm. But when the ego takes control, and the ego feels like I should be treated a certain way. Things should be doing this and, and life just isn't fair and it's not going my way. Those are the things that what you're speaking of in mindfulness, you need to unload that bag. Mm -hmm. to, to let that, let that go and accept, accept the past for what it was, mm -hmm. for what, because it's made you who you are and yeah. welcome the future. In your mindfulness, your thoughts of meditation in the morning are the perfect way to start your day. Mm -hmm. Just clean the slate, clean the chalkboard. Whatever happened yesterday was yesterday. Whatever happened in the past is in the past. Mm -hmm. This moment now is what we have. This is the present moment. Mm -hmm. The future <laughs> will be the next present moment. So it's <laughs> when it comes. So in our self-discovery and our we know and vision is not, uh, there is a little bit different perspective there, Tony, is not accepting life as it is, but also building life as you want. So not just accepting. Accepting is, is, a, is a method of whatever happens, I will just cope with it. So if there is a tornado coming, I will accept it It's a natural cause and I will just stand there, watch it and let it pass. And guess what? You have blown away and you are dead. So it's not accepting what comes to you. It's also adapting and challenging your belief system to say, I can do better. So if a tornado coming towards you, and you know what to do to protect yourself from that, you become the most self-reliant person because you are able to do that. And we as a human being, in the cave days, we were living in cave and uh, we, we knew how to protect. Human being is the most adaptive and most evolving uh, 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 in the planet, as you can see, that we learned how to defeat those, including a lion. We know how, how not to run away from lion. If they're coming at, at you and you run, just imagine what's gonna happen to you. I just have to run faster than you. That's run faster than the lion, of course. So the dinosaurs are the same way. They're coming big, dinosaurs can attack you and kill you. So if you accept the life as it is, life can take over you. You need to know how to master that. And that's why in self-discovery, we have three layers of things that we do. We call it self-examination. We examine ourselves, and then we do self-knowledge, understand ourselves. So examine yourself and then understand yourself. And then the next one is called self-mastery. You master yourself of your knowledge. So self-examination, we start with a process, uh, it's an industry standard called DISC. So you, we use DISC analysis to understand yourself. And in DISC analysis, it's the personality types that we, and you know, 
identify the dominance, the influence, the steadiness, the compliance. Uh, that's where the DISC come from. And we do that assessment for our clients. And once they do the assessment, they have a better view of that self-examination. So we start with that self-examination to understand, and then we start understanding that's the self-knowledge. So self-examinations move into self-knowledge of understanding who we are. And then self-mastery is mastering things that we are, we are doing. So that's what is the not accepting the nature to take over you. Well, when I, when I talk about acceptance, mm -hmm. um, I don't mean that you don't make plans for the future. I, I think you, you do need to set goals the set and and that's what i'm doing in the morning and when i wake up what is what are my goals for the day and long-term goals as well that, that come into mind right but when i say about acceptance it's just um accepting the things that have been in the past and letting them go mm -hmm. because i feel that too many of us carry that baggage forward with us each day and, right. you, and it's a lot to carry and you need to dump it. You need to dump the baggage from the past and take each step anew and refreshed. Well, that is the, that is the essence of it, how you dump it, right? It's not just dumping it. Uh, so there is the challenge we called escape. There is the challenge we called, uh, uh, you know, giving up. Our, 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 our surrender, right? So many of these come into play when you are dealing with past and when you are dealing with past that you are saying, I need to let it go or I need to just forget about it. I need to hide it. I need to uh, uh, just forgive me or whatever the situation is. Forgive you are, yeah, you are putting it under the carpet. And what happens in doing that is you are actually preventing yourself to dealing with it. So you have to deal with it in a productive and positive manner in self-discovery. That's what we do. We, we, we do self-examination and find out what are the things we need to know about it. And to be, uh, to be uh, productive, we need to do uh, uh, self-knowledge and understanding that this is part of something that we have dealt with in the past. It's not just part of life, it happens. We have to now acknowledge that. And when you acknowledge it, you are dealing with it. You are, and, you know, if there is a monster in the past, you're dealing with the monster. And once you learn how to deal with it, and then you have mastered the capability, you have won. You have won over your past, and then you will be able to move forward. So by dumping the baggage that uh, language you use is some baggage that we feel bad about. We're saying we're gonna leave it behind and move forward at the, at the same times, even though we are dumping it, we are actually carrying it forward with us. They are dragging behind us. The way to deal with it, actually deal with it face to face. And once you do that with your self mastery, and that's what the mastery come into play, is it's not a baggage anymore. It becomes a thing of the past. Self mastery is uh, an interesting uh, topic because do we ever master ourselves? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Of course we do. And that's where uh, at the end of life, you will see that we are satisfied with the life because now we know everything we have done, we have done it very nicely. And the self-mastery is, is that when you are able to know yourself fully and you know, and it's also, we have this internal that deals with the external. And when you are internally happy, when you are internally happy, the external turns into a happy zone. And at the same times, when your external is coming to you, 
and you are internally happy, you are dealing with it in positive nature. So that's why the next module after the self-discovery is the positivity. Means we now have to make sure that you are not only self-mastered, you also now focus in positivity, bring in positive nature in your life. So internal power can defeat the external power. And by doing that, you have mastered yourself. Means now you can say that every situation come to me I know I mastered myself. So for example, the dinosaurs coming to your you, you know now you have the right weapon to kill that dinosaurs if needed, right? Because you have mastered yourself uh, in that uh, and you have developed that weapon system that the dino and cannot kill you anymore because dino will come to you and you are prepared to deal with it. So <laughs> there may be dinosaur that will be running away from you because they'll say, oh my God, Tony has this uh, special gun that... Slingshot. Yeah, and so, you know, some of these, uh, 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 like a uh, lion example we were using is, yes, lion can chase you and lion can kill you if you run away from it. That's so what activities do you do in self-discovery to help us learn more about ourselves. So self-discovery, as we mentioned, that we start with the disc, which is to examine it, examine yourself. And then we go into discussion with the coaches about understanding the self. And we have a, a art that we use is called selfie. So we have people who draw this uh, sketch uh, of their face and we have artists to help them. So many of our clients who come to us, they, they will initially say, well, I cannot believe that I can paint my, you know, I can draw myself because I'm not an artist and it's gonna be funny looking and all this. Remember art is not picture. Art is, can be abstract, art can be different ways. So when you are with the help of an artist drawing, your selfie and some of the selfies I have seen and you can go to our Facebook page and you can see some of those who are posted it exactly look like them and they are not artists. So when I draw this picture of my of this old man and this mm -hmm. this silver cheeks um, and I and I and I get a good representation of myself on paper. Mm -hmm. What does that help me do when I see myself that closely? Okay, and that's where the practice of coaching is in play. It's an effective coach will be able to draw a lot of things out of your selfie. At the same time, think about you have drawn it now yourself and you will be looking at it in a perspective with the help of a coach. How do you look at this selfie? What is you see? And there is many of the questions that they will be asking to open your mind to that picture. It's actually uh, our creative side designed that picture. So when you do art, it's a creative side working. So your creative brain is working on a canvas. Uh, your logical brain totally start disappearing because in logic, <coughs> you trying to sketch a, a face that look exactly like you in creative. And you, if you go and look at some of those art like uh, Leonardo da Vinci, or you look at uh, um, uh, Monet, you look at their art and you can look at those and say what the, in the world this artist is doing here and why it is millions of dollars. What of art? It's an expression of mind. Art is an expression of mind and it's the right side of your brain doing it. And once you express that in a piece of paper or canvas, now you can go in there and tell us, tell the coaches, what are you seeing? Why you did what you just did? And as, as the coaches do expert uh, uh, investigation or a questioning of you, you will start opening up things and seeing things that you never have seen before. 
and with the expert coaches help you that selfie becomes so powerful to you that you able you are able to self master out of that selfie now you have knowledge of yourself so deeper level that you never have before and that's why uh, self examination self knowledge comes into play and then after that is self mastery when you have the self knowledge of what is that then you can now start putting together actions to master that so it's a step by step well, to me to, to me is self mastery is a lifelong pursuit yes yes it is and and as we do that but without the knowledge of self you will not be able to master yourself so you can go and go to a wrong direction by thinking you are wrong or by thinking you are right is depends on what situation how you are doing it but the self knowledge is key to it first understanding is the self examination and then having the self knowledge allows you to be the master of self so it could be the wrong thing that you are doing or could be the right thing you are doing but you are doing without the knowledge of self you don't know which one is true until you are able to do that until it's come from you from within with internal that tells you this is who i am and then you will be able to write a paragraph or two or a page or a book i am and then you can fill in well i guess the first stage is the self the selfie creating your selfie mm -hmm. yes. not with a picture but with a, a brush in your hand or, or pen and ink and um is that something uh, is that activity something that'll be taking place soon yes our uh, uh, selfie actually on our website right now it's uh, coming up on we have one going on in june 4 uh it's a hosted event and we have a, a coach in california is hosting it uh so it is on june 4th and if you have not seen our website uh, go to the event section and in fact i will just share you the screen so you can see that uh so we have the menu of my life which is coming in on june 3rd and june 4th we have the selfie which is going to be uh this is a, a picture of somebody's selfie but as you do the selfie you will be able to see the selfie and then we have the positivity right after that uh finding your positive self is the next one so it's uh, in a sequence right now is self discovery is the selfie and then finding your positive self is the art right next to it and they can go to our website look for event and rsvp in there and uh, attend virtually and uh, we will have a artist who will guide you through and we will have uh, um, instruction will be given by the artist and we will also uh, email you the link and also the uh, art supply and we use the same art supply over and over again so any art class you attend majority of the art class use the same art supply and we recommend that you get a ton of those art supplies so you can attend many of them and we do it every every week so our uh, this uh, coming week we get two classes because we are hosting uh, by in california by our california coach very good very good and then once you have done your selfie you sit with a coach and discover deeper level and identify your uh, mastery of self what what do you need to do once you have the self knowledge there is nothing going to prevent you to master that because you now know exactly what you need to know about yourself only your only your ego can get in the way and that's the reason the self mastery come into play is how you deal with that how you manage yourself properly just think about that when you know how to kill the monster the monster will not be chasing you anymore that's you right know, you are equipped to not only deal with it you are equipped to totally kill the monster and once you are able to kill the monster that monster disappear it now becomes your dinner table you can eat that monster if you want that's right that's right and the monster is the ego 
I think many, all through life, people are trying to seek freedom. Yeah. They always, you know, I think we've spoken about this before when, when it is the one thing everybody seeks is freedom. And usually it's freedom from themselves. So understanding yourself is the first step. Exactly. And, and, and if you follow our self-discovery module, you will come out of it as a winner of life. And then you have to practice that mastery over and over and over again. And as you do that, you become a self-mastered person, which all those not to accept the world as it is, but to change the world as it can be. There you go. You can be the leader of that change and you need to know yourself to do that. And we can help you to achieve that. Must well, visit Vino and Vision if you have um, more, if you're curious about what we, we've discussed today. This is uh, bringing us to the end of our discussion today. Um, and we'll be back to discuss more on this topic in two weeks, in the, the third Tuesday of the month. The first and the third Tuesdays of the month is when we get together for, to have coffee yeah, with well, coach. And we are, we are also ex expecting a guest on that day, so we'll discuss that with you, Tony. So for today, have a great day. Have a good day, coach. You too. Talk to you soon.